Good morning, YouTube, or good afternoon, depending on your neck of the woods. Um, some enjoying breakfast right now, some enjoying lunch. Hopefully, this doesn't spoil your meal. Uh, we, this is a mirror here for On the Warpath. We have some breaking news coming through right now regarding the Trent Williams situation. JP Finley of NBCS Sports Washington is reporting that Trent Williams is fine with missing regular season games and will not play for the Redskins period. He is done, folks. Trent Williams will no longer suit up for the Burgundy and Gold. Coming out, this report is coming out of Cleveland as today is the first preseason game against the Browns at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, reads, Trent Williams does not intend to suit up for the Washington Redskins anytime soon. And that includes regular season games, according to multiple sources close to the situation. He's not coming back, period, said one source that has spoken directly to Williams. Williams missed all of the Redskins' off-season workouts and mandatory minicamp before no-showing the team's two-week training camp in Richmond. Thursday night, the Redskins will begin the preseason in Cleveland against the Browns. And Williams won't be there either. Sources explain that the situation is not all about the money. Rather, his contract status, along with a series of allegations that the seven-time Pro Bowl tackle, has lost faith in the team's front office and medical staff. Still, money might be the only way to fix the holdout. A reported plan that Washington could find Williams enough for missing practices so that he would hurry back and report was funny. Williams has made nearly $100 million in his career, and the threat of fines that could reach up to perhaps of $500,000 are of small consequence to the veteran left tackle, sources explain. There is also the threat of not being on the Redskins roster before week one, which means William's 2019 salary will no longer be fully vested. Not a concern, according to those in the know. Word from some inside the Redskins organization suggests that the holdup actually is all about the money. How that could be fixed remains to be seen. But those with direct knowledge of the Williams camp suggest a resolution would require a new deal. It's hard to envision a scenario where the Redskins would do a new deal as it would set a new precedent for Bruce Allen to rework a contract that has two years remaining. Washington historically only works on extensions in the last year of a contract. Former Redskins and Texans general manager Charlie Castley said on the Redskins Talk podcast that maybe Washington could move some 2020 money up to 2019, like Atlanta did with the Julio Jones holdout last year. The problem there is now the Falcons are back in an uneasy place with Jones and no new contract worked out. I think it's all about the money, Castley said. See above video. The only way will know the truth is that to have everybody in a room together. I personally don't buy in his case because that's the only one I've studied. These allegations that are being made, I just don't buy it at all. Williams has two years left on the contract that will pay him nearly $25 million. He signed that deal in 2015, which at the time was the richest contract for an NFL offense lineman. In the years since he's been passed through, he still ranks in the top 10 of the linemen salaries. Early in training camp, the Redskins offense, offensive line, I apologize, looked like a train wreck without Williams. The team was forced to use Eric Flowers a left tackle, and he showed why New York cut him last season. The plan was for Flowers to play left guard in Washington, ideally next to Williams. That obviously hasn't worked out. In the past week, however, things have started to stabilize. Second-year pro Jerome Christian returned from injury, allowing Flowers to move inside to guard. The team also signed veteran left tackle Donald Penn. He has started more than 150 games as a left tackle in the NFL and three times made the Pro Bowl. Nobody will replace Williams. Nobody. 
He's an elite talent. But a healthy competition between Christian and Penn will produce a legitimate NFL starter. What you have with Penn is a veteran that knows how to play the game. What does that mean? It's a guy who knows who he has to play against, who what he has to do to block him, uses his hands well, and uses his big body well. Can he hold up physically? That's the question. A question too is the speed guys and the strength guys are going to give him some problems, but he was the best alternate to to you to have a backup at this point in time, Castelli explained. Since being drafted fourth overall in 2010, Williams has been a cornerstone of the Redskins franchise. That said, the 31-year-old hasn't played a full 16-game season since 2013. More importantly, for 2019, it doesn't sound like Williams will be playing anytime soon. That is the report on Trent Williams for right now. Is He's done, guys. It's, it's unfortunate that we're going to lose that key piece of the offensive line. Uh, hopefully, you know, if it is true regarding the medical staff and the front office staff, that it shows the lack of faith from a star player like that, it will maybe kick Snyder into gear some and maybe look at situations and look at how the front office is run, uh, particularly with Bruce Allen who we all know is not somebody we want there. Uh, it, 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 it sucks. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It hurts. Somebody of that caliber of a player that, you know, you had in your corner is no longer there. It's, it's unfortunate. That's all I can say about it, really. Uh, in other Redskins news, Colt McCoy will not play the night versus the Browns. It's just um, holding him out for precautionary reasons. Uh, Case Keenum will probably take the starting reps, probably play three drives at most in the first quarter. At most. He will then give the reins over to Dwayne Haskins. will probably play through the third quarter as long as he can hold up and you know he's not panicking. And then they'll hand the um, the rock over to uh, Josh Woodrum to finish out the game. So that will help be how the quarterback reps go tonight. Hopefully, it won't be uh, too bad. It is a preseason game. It's fun to watch. Um, it's fun getting to see the guys who are trying their best to make the team uh, go out there and compete for their lives. It's 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 that's why I like the preseason personally is because you get to see people who you wouldn't normally see on an NFL roster and sometimes you find that diamond in the rough Arian Foster was an undrafted free agent for the Houston Texans and he was a mainstay there for years um, Cam Sims, wide receiver for the Washington Redskins, who made the team last year. Rashad Ross, who made the team in 15 and 16. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm also excited to see Darius Geist come back. Um, Geist, Geist, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we'll see how he goes there. Uh, Terry McLaurin has emerged as one of the rising stars of training camp uh, for a third-round rookie a wide receiver who has return capabilities and is probably going to be the deep threat of the, of the team with his uh, 4.3 speed. So I'm excited to see him. He was tall, too, for 4.3, I believe. Uh, I'm definitely I'm, I'm excited to see Terry McLaurin out there, T Mac. I guess we can call him. Um, other receivers of noteworthy, of course, Paul Richardson. I don't believe he's going to play tonight. I think they're going to hold him out a little bit longer, just to make sure he's right. Uh, we also have um, Kelvin Harmon, sixth round rookie that we drafted. There's also um, Josh Dobson. I'm sorry, Doxson. My bad. 
Um, he's been apparently been pushed during training camp that uh, Terry McLaurin might actually uh, take over his starting job, which goes to show that competition is everything and uh, that production is everything. If the production isn't there, you're not going to get to play. Accountability. It's a big step. Well, I think I'll do it for right now. I will see what we can do about getting something together for after the game. Uh, perhaps go over it. Maybe review it tomorrow. Talk to Sanchez 4 or 5 about that. He the boss. So, as Mr. Sanchez 4 or 5 would say, love, peace, and hail, guys. We love y'all. We appreciate you. Have a good day. HTTR.